In this video, we will walk through the basic steps required to install and uninstall Adobe Reader DC using the PowerShell App Deployment Toolkit. This script works great for new installs, upgrades to new versions, and uninstalling any existing or previous versions of Adobe Reader. I encourage everyone to reference the Adobe Reader DC install and uninstall PowerShell blog post for the most up-to-date step-by-step instructions and the links to all the necessary downloads as the information may be updated from time to time. First, we will download the PowerShell app deployment toolkit. I've downloaded the zip file to the C downloads directory. Next, we want to remove the zone identifier from the zip file. Open Windows PowerShell by right-clicking on Windows PowerShell and selecting Run as Administrator. Enter the following command to remove the zone identifier. Now if we check the zip file properties, the Unblock option has been removed. Next, we want to extract the contents of the zip file. Enter the following command. As you can see, we've extracted the contents of the zip file to C downloads PADT. Next, we will enter the following commands to copy the app deploy toolkit and files folders to a new location at C downloads Adobe Reader DC. Next, we will open a browser to the Adobe Reader DC downloads page. Select an operating system. Select a language. Select a version. Click Download Now. OK, once the download has completed, copy the executable to the C Downloads Adobe Reader DC Files directory. Next, we want to copy the PowerShell script located on the blog post. Then we can open PowerShell ISE, which is the integrated scripting environment. And paste the code in. Then we can save the script to the C Downloads Adobe Reader DC directory and name it deploy-adobereaderdc.ps1. Click Save. OK, all the hard work is done, and now we can install or uninstall Adobe Reader DC using one single PowerShell script. If you are using a software deployment tool such as Microsoft Endpoint Manager, Configuration Manager, everything inside the C Downloads Adobe Reader DC folder would be your source files for a package or application. We can delete all the other files in the downloads directory. In this first example, we will perform a silent install of Adobe Reader DC using the PowerShell script. Open Windows PowerShell by right-clicking on Windows PowerShell. Select Run as Administrator. Change the directory to the C Downloads Adobe Reader DC folder. Enter the following command.
Logging functionality is built in automatically and we can monitor the progress of the installation under C Windows Logs software. After a minute or so, you should see the Adobe Reader desktop shortcut appear. You will also find entries in the Start menu, the Installation directory, and Programs and Features in the Control Panel. Now we can perform a silent uninstall simply by changing the Deployment Type parameter from Install to Uninstall. We can see that Adobe Reader has been removed from the control panel, and we can verify that the uninstall completed successfully in the log file. In this next example, we will use the interactive deploy mode that will show dialogues including progress and balloon tip notifications. It will also prompt the user to close Adobe Reader if the application happens to be open. I went ahead and installed an older version of Adobe Reader to demonstrate that the script will successfully uninstall the existing version prior to installing the version I want to deploy. I've also opened Adobe Reader to demonstrate the prompt the end user will see to close Adobe Reader when the application is open. Enter the following command. Notice that the deploy mode switch is set to interactive. As you can see, we are presented with a pop-up, giving the user the ability to save their work, close the programs, and continue. As a note, once the countdown timer has reached zero, it will automatically close the application. After about a minute, you should see the Adobe Reader desktop shortcut appear, the entry in the Start menu, the Installation directory, and Programs and Features in the Control Panel. Also note that the version has been updated. Now we can perform an interactive uninstall simply by changing the Deployment Type parameter from Install to Uninstall. We can see that Adobe Reader has been removed from Programs and Features in the Control Panel, and we can verify the uninstall completed successfully in the log file. As a friendly reminder, always make sure to test everything in a development environment prior to implementing anything into production. The information in this video is provided as is, without warranty of any kind. For more free PowerShell scripts, check out silentinstallhq.com. Thank you so much for watching.